Good evening and thanks for staying up late with us tonight at News West 9. I'm Christina Burgess. A local VFW in Midland has gotten some renovations and they were excited to share them with the community in today's grand reopening. Hunter Arcosier was at this reopening and he has more. Hunter. Christina, Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 7208 in Midland held a grand reopening today to show the community the post's new look. VFW Post 7208 is once again open to its members and community, but with a new look to it. Basically, Project VFW is to bring back to the community. Everybody that looks at VFWs nowadays think of an old school bar with a bunch of old people in there drinking beer, and they think of a bingo hall. Try to change that. Try to bring in the younger crowd, the younger veterans, the family events that used to happen in the 70s and 80s and 90s. Derimer and his organization, Project VFW, redid the whole building from top to bottom. Things like redoing the roof, interior ceiling, walls and floors, and fixing up the bathrooms as well. Post Commander Robert Thames feels that the renovations will do a lot to breathe in new life into the post. Well, we hope to get better attendance in here more people the more people we get the better off we're going to be uh, hopefully get our funding up a little bit so we can help veterans who need help huh? but as much as the post wants to help veterans there are still those outside of the veteran community that want to help the post itself carry out its mission i want to try to bring help to the people that, that have fought for our country, we wouldn't be where we are today without those veterans. Post 7208 says that they will be holding a kids Halloween party for the community on October 22nd. 